Well, here we are back again with another special edition of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. And today, one of the questions that I had for Jack San Felice is, what did the people up at the Silver King Mine in Silver King City and Pinell City do for recreation? Here's a hint. At Pinell City, they were drinking so many, so much beer that that they couldn't keep the people of the city supplied and the miners and the mill workers and whoever else were traveling through town, uh, the merchants and whoever, the gamblers, forgot about the gamblers. They always had gamble hall, gambling halls. Also in the Silver King Hotel, they had a pool table and uh, a piano. So it was first class up here. But in Pinell City with 3,000 people, they had much more demand for beer. And those miners drank a lot of beer. Most of them were Cornish miners, a lot of them were Irishmen, and that's where the Irish got the, the reputation of being fighters and boozers from the, the bars around the mines that they actually worked in. And the mills, whatever mill it happened to be, hard work is what it was around hard work. They're in the middle of nowhere. Where'd they get all the alcohol? So they sent off to St. Louis where the breweries were, and two men came out from St. Louis, and they set up two breweries. One was the St. Louis Brewery, and that name, by the way, is on the, that 1882 map. As well, it's, it's advertised in the old newspapers. And the other one was the Pinell City Brewery, okay. And they made beer and they put them into big bottles. I'll show you, see at my house I've got the bottles. They're bigger and heavier than whiskey bottles. They set these things up and these guys went back to St. Louis and they bought out the St. Louis Brewery and they were two German guys. And they changed the name, their name, to uh, the name their their company was named uh, after them, and they combined the name. And the first guy's name was started with an A and the other with a B. So they started it named this company, Anheuser and Bush. So that's who came out here. And they went all over the West in the early days. They went around the West setting up breweries. They knew how to make beer. So they started this brewery, Anheuser Bush, and this famous beer they made, they called it Budweiser. And that's how it all evolved. They were just beer makers. They came from Germany. They knew how to make beer. And they work, started working for the St. Louis Brewery, who were other German beer makers. Most of the beer makers in America in those days were Germans, by the way. They knew how, or Dutch, they knew how to make beer and different kinds of beer. At one time, there were thousands of breweries in America, probably maybe Probably main breweries in America today, there's probably 50 main breweries. A lot of it comes from, uh, from uh, Europe, the beer. But, and then there's these little, I'm not talking about the little mom and pop breweries. Well, that's how the breweries got, that's how the beer got down here, and that's how Anheuser-Busch became a famous, they didn't know it yet, but these miners were drinking Budweiser. Okay, well, here's one for you. I've always wondered where did the name Budweiser come from? That came from, that was a name for a, a beer that they, a special beer that they had brewed. And they gave it the name Budweiser. They brewed different kinds of beer. And one was a very dark beer. One was an ale and uh, one was a dark beer and one was in between. Budweiser was kind of an in-between beer. And so that's, uh, that's a German name also, Budweiser. So I don't really know all the rest of the name of that but I do know it evolved out of that, that partnership between Anheuser and Bush. One of the questions I asked Jack today was, where did the name Budweiser come from? Well, I looked it up. It turns out it's a town in Germany named Budweiss, or Budweiss, where they made beer. So now we have one of the mysteries of the Superstition Mountains completely solved. See you next time.